and then there we go. So the purpose of this video is to demonstrate how to bond two tubes together by creating a mitre guide, which allows perfect alignment of round surfaces that wouldn't normally mate well. Thankfully this is very easy to do. Um, so now we'll head into Fusion 360 to start the design. The first thing you want to do is create a sketch for your internal geometry. Um, you want to give a little bit of leeway in here. So for example I did 32.25 and that is to allow your um, 3D print to slide over your um, pole eventually, so to get a sliding fit. Once you've got this profile and you've got your outer diameter um, made, which doesn't really matter that much, you can extrude it, create a sketch on the perpendicular plane, and then from there you want to create the circle that you wish to cut out, um, which will be the size of that tube, and then you simply need to extrude it. Um, in this case, both ways saves a bit of time. Once that's done, you're pretty much good to go. So next step is to export this to your slicer. Um, 3D print it and take it off the bed and then you're ready. So now our, our print is finished and we have our mitering guide, which works both to cut a profile uh, in our curve and as well as a straight cut here. We're going to put it onto our tube and then start doing a straight cut. All right, we got our vacuum, so it's time to cut. So we want to cut in this direction, so the dust goes into the um, the vacuum. It's time to uh, do a mitre cut here on our 80 millimeter tubes. There we go. So next stage is just to tidy it up a little bit, but that's pretty much our finished form here. And so now we have our two pieces we need to join. Um, we're just gonna uh, scuff up the surfaces and then clean them, uh, getting ready for adhesive bonding. Cool. Time to mix them. All right, and so now we've mixed up our adhesive um, and we've got our two parts. It's time to put them in the clamp and stick them together for the night. Make sure they're located in the right place. And then we're just gonna push them into this pre-clamped zone and then we'll measure them up and give them one last little little go and we should be good. That is pretty much bang on. So here we go, uh, here is the uh, glued part and already it's got a lot of strength in it here. Um, what we're gonna do next though is um, put it into a two-part mold. You can only see the one part at the moment. And you can see that there's those gaps there. We're gonna fill those with um, forged carbon fiber. That's gonna end up making a strong part like this one here um, for our handlebars. And uh, yeah, so I already know that this one has gone two and a half thousand kilometers. And so this should probably work pretty good. If you like this video, be sure to like and subscribe and tune in for our next video about molds and forged carbon fiber. I'm also far from the authority in these methods, rather just trying to give back some tips and tricks after I've gotten so much from the tutorials of others. Also super excited to hear your ideas and feedback, so please leave a comment below. See you soon.